welcome to my channel. This time I will discuss beautiful women as judges on the basketball court, especially in the NBA. For those who just found my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Besides players, referees are an important element of sports matches. No exception to the most sparkling basketball competition in the world of NBA. There are 98 referees assigned by the NBA in the 2022-2023 season, consisting of 91 officiating staff and 8 non-official staff. Lauren Holtkamp of Sterling Natalie Sago Ashley Moyer Bleak Simone Jelks Jenna Schroeder Danielle Scott Danica Mosher and Cheryl Flores there are the names Jenna Renault and Sharari Mitchell in the ranks of non-official staff. Not only good-looking, they are also firm and have authority. They do not hesitate to argue with NBA players who incidentally are the best basketball players. Who are these beautiful referees? Lauren was born November 24, 1980 in Jefferson City, Missouri, United States. While attending Drury University, he joined the basketball team and played in the NCAA 2 competition. Graduated from college, Lauren did not continue his career as a player. Instead, he tried to go another way. Not far from basketball, she took a referee course and thanks to her hard work, Lauren was finally able to break into the NBA and break the domination of male referees. She became the first of the second generation of female referees to receive official staff status in the NBA since the eras of Dee Cantona and Violet Palmer in the mid-1990s. Lauren has officiated over 200 NBA games from the 2014 to 2015 season to today. She has also officiated in the WNBA, the NBA's women's competition and the official FIBA championships. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, United States, March 9, 1986. Knowing basketball since childhood, full name Simone Marie Jelk started playing basketball since studying at Charles F. Fett. Brush School High School in Lindhurst, a small town in Cuyahoga, Ohio. Jelks then went on to study at the University of Southern California. In 2004, until graduating from college in 2008, she played for the campus basketball team the USC Trojans women's basketball team. After graduating with a bachelor's degree, Jelks then pursued graduate studies. He later earned a master's degree in public health from Western Reserve University 2011 and another degree in urban secondary teaching from Cleveland State University 2013. Simone Jelks hasn't forgotten about basketball, but he no longer played as a player, but as a referee. Jelks began his career as an umpire in championships and intercollegiate competitions, including Mid-American Conference and Horizon League, then move on to the NBA G League, the competition for the NBA's second-cast teams. His work in the NBA began in the 2019-2020 season. At that time, Simone Jelks was recruited and received the status of non-staff official and trusted to let 16 matches. He was promoted as officiative staff referee on 23 December 2020. The following season, he took charge of 33 regular and playoff games. Ashley was born August 5, 1987, in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, United States. After graduating high school from Cedar Crest High School, Ashley attended Millisville University, Pennsylvania and played for the college basketball team. There are no achievements that are too prominent, except for being recorded as appearing in Division II Sweet 16 in 2010. After graduating from college, he decided to pursue a career as a referee. She served two seasons in NBA Gatorade, the non-pro club competition under the NBA umbrella, and one season in the WNBA. In 2018, the NBA entered his name as a referee in the NBA with the status of non-staff official. He led the Indiana Pacers game against the Minnesota Timberwolves at the Target Center, Minneapolis. Approximately only one month, Ashley has non-staff status. On November 15, 2018, the NBA announced its promotion. 
Ashley Moyoplik had become a hot topic of conversation in the comments columns of Twitter microblogging in mid-March 2021. It was Luka Doncic, the Dallas Maverick player who started the problem. Doncic reacted to the decision not to sanction an infringement. Ashley, who was surprised, asked back, What foul? This question was repeated twice. Luka Doncic, who is known as a player with excessive noise levels in the NBA, gave an answer that made Ashley's smile widen. Fouling in love with you. Currently, Ashley Moyer Gleek is married to Johnny Gleek, a businessman and amateur basketball player who is also a basketball umpire in the NCAA. Seventh in the league in scoring at just over 28 points a game, and he's already over halfway. First ever all female officiating crew for an NBA G League ball game. First all female crew, it's history. It's something that we'll never forget. Okay. Have a good game. Ashley Moyer Gleesh will head up today's crew of Tony Patillo and Claire Aubrey. The G League has provided the best experience. How you guys doing? Good? Any questions for us? Okay, anything to add? No, stay healthy. Have a great game. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, gotta give me some room. Good flow, good layoff. Freedom of movement, stay on it. Yeah. Illegal! 37! Illegal screen! You're not legal. You're running beside us. My bad, going down. Very good, keep it right where it's at. Yep. Keep the communication up. I'm a firm believer that I just couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity to be in the G League because how seriously they take this craft. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you. Throughout our careers, we constantly have firsts. You have your first G League game. You have your first crew chief game, WNBA game, first NBA game. This is our first all-female crew Absolutely. game and this will go down in history. Born in Farmington, Missouri, United States, May 24, 1989. He wears jersey number nine in the NBA. It's not just players who get jersey numbers. Referees also use jersey numbers, which are printed on their uniforms. Sago's career journey is somewhat different. Instead, he focused more on softball and played for the Jefferson College softball team 2007-09 and Drury University 2009-2011. Sago only played basketball when he was in middle school. He was part of the Farmington basketball team, which was listed as runner-up in the local championship in Missouri in 2007. Why did Sago choose to become a basketball referee? Sago may have been inspired by his father, Dr. Shelton Sago, for approximately 35 years. Dr. Shelton coached basketball for the Missouri State High School Athletic Association. The Inter-Campus Basketball Championship was his first experience as a referee. Three years, Sago served in this championship, then pulled over to officiate in NBA G League and WNBA games. For four years, Sago served in the NBA G League and three years in the WNBA. Along with Ashley moyer Bleak, the NBA announced the promotion of Natalie Sago as an officiative staff referee. On November 15, 2018, the 2022-2023 season will be his fourth season, and so far, Sago has taken charge of more than 170 games. This includes being part of the arbiters appointed officiating the Rising Stars and All-Star Saturday Night Game at the 2022 NBA All-Star Game in Cleveland. Jaron Jackson. And that Clay just ran into the official on the sideline. I'm glad he's okay. They're, 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 they're laughing about it. And you don't want to see Clay go down like that, but he's he's walking Natalie out. Natalie Sago's a good young official. Don't uh, bump into Clay Thompson. Yeah, I'm just... In Memphis, Tennessee, and I get alive. My heart was in my throat about four seconds because you when Clay Thompson's out on the wing. He bumps into Natalie Sago and they go down and you're like, no! Uh, scary, but oh, he, man. he bounced right back up. He had a smile on his face. She's okay, <sighs> he's okay, and oh man. That, that, that was a little scary.
Jenna Schroeder, born in Flint, Michigan, September 27, 1985. Jenna Schroeder is the class of 2018, along with Ashley Moyer Gleek and Natalie Sago. They were promoted to the NBA as a referee, officiative staff. Previously, they served several years in the NBA G League, two seasons, and the WNBA, three seasons. Jenna Schroeder has officiated matches in various student competitions for nearly seven years. While on campus, he spent most of the time on the athletics field. He was on the basketball team as well and played for Oakland University and Saginaw Valley State University. His career as an athlete did not continue because of his activities outside the campus. Jenny Schroeder never seriously pursued the bartending profession before starting to pave the way as a basketball referee. After setting foot in competitions under the auspices of the NBA, Jenna Schroeder still works as an alcoholic mixologist at the bar. For several years, I was a bartender, until the NBA pitched me a promotion. A promotion that I can't refuse. I'm a girl, and now I'm in the NBA. I don't think this is an opportunity that is easy to come by, he said in an interview quoted on the NBA.co website. People say, opportunity rarely comes twice. Being a referee in the NBA is definitely not an easy matter, especially for girls. This season, the NBA has raised the status of the referees, two of whom are women, Cheryl Flores and Danica Mosha. Will they be the start of a third wave of female referees in the NBA? Prior to the second wave of female referees, and perhaps there will be a third, the NBA had given Dee Cantona and Violet Palmer promotion opportunities. We have, have, of course, seen female NBA officials, but to have two of them officiating 118, Schroeder is the lead since she got the gig in 2019. Now, Natalie's dad officiated basketball games for 35 years. She says she would tag along to her dad's games all the time and would watch the refs just as much as the fans focused on the players. Shot clock down to four. James, that's stolen by Morant. Shot, shot. And then Miranda comes back, gets the steal. Now she